Hey, what's going on everyone? BowHD here, and you've read the title. In this video, I'll be comparing the OnePlus 2 with the Moto X Pure Edition, or Moto X Style, depending on where you live, with the Blue Pure XL to test their speed by running each device through several benchmark applications, as well as running each device through a real-world performance test. These are three of the most popular and the most recent quote-unquote flagship smartphones that cost right around $400 off contract. And they all feature different processors. The OnePlus 2, a Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor with 4GB of RAM. The Moto X Pure Edition, a Snapdragon 808 hexa-core processor with 3GB of RAM. And the Pure XL, a MediaTek Helio X10 octa-core processor with 3GB of RAM as well. So this should be interesting. Alright, so the first benchmark I ran on each device was Geekbench 3. You've probably all heard of Geekbench 3, I'm sure. If not, it's basically the benchmark standard for testing the CPU of a device. The OnePlus 2 received a score of 1202 and 4763 for the single and multi-core performance. The Moto X Pure Edition a score of 1267 and 3460 for the single and multi-core performance. And the Pure XL received a score of 909 and 4911 for the single and the multi-core performance. So the score that really stands out to me is the multi-core score of the Peer XL, almost approaching 5,000. That is certainly one of the highest multi-core scores I've ever seen in Geekbench. So that is certainly impressive. The next benchmark I ran was Antutu. Now Antutu is another benchmark that tests performance as well as the graphic performance. It does a little bit of everything and it spits out a score in a ranking system. The OnePlus 2 received a score of 60,334, the Moto X Pure Edition a score of 48,467, and the Pure XL a score of 46,638. Now the Pure XL is not verified because the device isn't officially out on the market just yet, but it's pretty safe to say that the OnePlus 2 wiped the board with this test as it significantly outscored the other two devices. Now the last benchmark I ran was 3D Mark, and I would say it's probably the best benchmark for testing the graphic performance of a device, the GPU. I ran the slingshot test, which is new, but I've never actually ran it before on the device prior to making this video, so the scores are a bit different. I also could not get the Pure XL to work with this test, unfortunately, for whatever reason. I'm thinking it's because it's not a verified device, it's not officially available. I was just one of the lucky few who happened to get their hands on a unit early. So unfortunately, the Pure XL cannot compete in this benchmark, but it will compete in the real-world performance test coming up very shortly. But with that said, the OnePlus 2 received a score of 956, very close to 1,000, and the Moto X Pure Edition received a score of 510. So the low scores of the slingshot test were a bit new and kind of unusual to me. I was expecting scores in the thousands, but the nearly 500-point difference between the OnePlus 2 and the Moto X Pure Edition is very apparent. But as for the real world performance test, what I did was I just had each device run through the same series of applications. I first opened up the stopwatch, hit start, and immediately pressed home to launch the next app in sequence, and I would proceed to the next app after each opened up and would load content all of the way. The apps used for this test were YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit is Fun, Chrome, the native gallery app for each device, the settings app, Play Store, Dialer, Messenger, and the native camera app. For Chrome, I would load phonedog.com and proceed once the site was loaded all of the way. And once I ran through each app, I opened up the clock app and I stopped the stopwatch to see just how quick each device was able to open and load each app. And I do want to say the channel that first turned me on to this format of testing the performance was PhoneBuff here on YouTube, so all credit goes to him. It's a pretty cool way to test the performance. But the device that finished first was surprisingly the Blue Pier XL as it finished in 59.9 seconds. The device that finished with a close second was the Moto X Pure Edition at a minute and two seconds, and the device that finished last by quite a long shot relative to the others was of course the OnePlus 2, coming in at a minute and 14 seconds. I think what really hung up the OnePlus 2 was the web browsing. It took a really long time to load PhoneDog.com on the OnePlus 2 for whatever reason. So it goes to show you that benchmarks aren't everything. Now, I know I wasn't able to perform this real-world performance test perfectly across each device. So the times will of course vary each time I run this test, but hopefully, and the goal, is to give you guys a good idea as to how fast each device is in terms of both the real-world performance and in terms of just raw numbers. 
Feel free to let me know your thoughts by leaving me a comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As always, I'm Bo HD from Bonedag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.